This is my updated concert set list collection for 2021. If you happen to watch my last depressing video, hey, it is what it is, but as the great Freddie Mercury said, the show must go on. Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm still trying to push to get 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Let's get right into it. This first one is from uh, Pretty Girls Make Graves, one of my favorite bands. Saw them at the Boardwalk in Orangevale, California. And I actually got another set list from them, and I can't remember where I got this one. But I'm happy to have it. The best way to get a set list is to get to the venue early so you can be right up front. And uh, at the end of the show, very nicely ask a roadie for a set list and you'll usually get one. This one uh, is one of my more recent ones from Steel Panther in Sacramento. Love them. And from Ween. I got this in San Francisco, mainly because my arms were longer than the people around me. And I actually had to cut it in two because they played so many songs they needed two set lists. If you're not familiar with Ween, I would suggest you dig a little deeper and uh, do some research on them because they're absolutely brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, I got these next two set lists from when I saw the great Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys. I was right up front, so I had an advantage. I asked the guy for a set list and he gave it to me. I got this in Sacramento. So awesome. He's a living legend. Next one is from Eve Six in 2019. I saw them in Seattle. I was able to get the set list and they autographed it after the show because they love their fans. No matter what, they will always be in my top 10 favorite bands of all time. So you know I was extra excited to get this one. Next up is a show I went to in Sacramento. It was Soul Asylum. I was right up front like I usually try to be. I got a guitar pick, a set list, a picture with Dave Perner, and he autographed it. So that was a good night. Great show, I love that band. Next up, Nazareth. Big in the 70s. You know their songs. Uh, Hair of the Dog and Love Hurts. I got it autographed by uh, two original members. Original lead singer Dan McCafferty couldn't tour much after this because he has COPD, unfortunately. Quit smoking. Oh yeah, this one is from Lars Fredrickson when I saw him at a solo show in Oakland. He handed me that set list directly. It's the second time he handed me a set list, actually. This is from Finch. I saw them in Sacramento. Love this band. I've seen them more than any other band. I think 13 times now. Oh boy, this next one is <laughs> the one I mentioned uh, Lars handed to me after the show. It was when I saw Rancid in San Francisco at the Warfield. They were playing the whole And Out Come the Wolves album. Love them. 
Love the set list. Thank you, Lars. Let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, I got this in Seattle when I saw Peter Hook. He was in Joy Division, New Order, and Monaco, among other bands. I think there was one called Revenge or something, but I'm not familiar with them. But love. He's one of my favorite bass players. Oh boy. This one is from Scott Weiland in 2015. I saw him in Orangevale, California, in a little place called the Boardwalk. It was about a month before he died. And those are his footprints right there, because that's the set list he was using. It was right in front of him. So those are, it's just, it's really special to me. This one is from Chris Novoselic. Those are his footprints. You know Chris from Nirvana. He has a new band called Giants in the Trees. I saw them in Seattle. I was going crazy the whole time right in front of him. He gave me a guitar pick. This is from Social Distortion. I saw them in Sacramento at Ace of Spades. Cool. This one is when I saw Chevelle in Sacramento at Ace of Spades. One of my favorite places to see a show in Sacramento. I wasn't even by the stage, I just went down afterwards while, while people were clearing out and I asked for one and they gave it to me, so. This is when I saw uh, Scott Stapp, lead singer of Creed. He was doing a solo show in Sacramento at Ace of Spades. I don't care what anyone says, I like a lot of Creed songs. Even though people consider them butt rock or whatever. But, hey, I love them. Another one from Eve 6. I believe this was in San Jose. I guess I could have gotten this in Chico also. As I get older, my memory starts to fade, so... This is from Veruca Salt. I saw them in Orangevale, California at the Boardwalk. I've loved them since day one. The first time I heard uh, Seether, I've been a fan since then. These next two are uh, kind of underground. It's from a band called uh, Dead Low Tide. It was the band that uh, used to be Murder City Devils, and they broke up, and most of the members were in this band. They had a different guitar player, but yeah, I saw them twice in Orange Vale. And I discovered some uh, other cool stuff in the bottom of this box that I might as well go over just for fun. It was a little bonus. This was a little. Uh, picture I took for a photography class in college. It actually got displayed for a whole semester. People loved it. This is a like a flyer type of thing I got when I saw the Atomic Punks in probably 2009. Michael Starr from Steel Panther was the singer doing Van Halen covers. Here's a little uh, card I got signed by Eve Six, I want to say in Hollywood. I saw Frank Hannon in 2012. He did a solo acoustic show for free. 
Such a great player. Cool guy. This is when I saw Ween in Seattle. I got it signed by Gene Ween back in the year 2000. Oh, uh, this is Flo and Eddie from the Turtles. There actually was a two year period when I listened to the Turtles more than any other band, believe it or not. I'm still obsessed with them. I always will be. Just classic 60s songs. I met Herschel Walker in Juneau, Alaska, I want to say in 1994? 93 or 94? Oh yeah, the guys from that metal show. I missed out on Don Jameson though. I don't know why I did that, but they were really funny, really cool. John Five. He's Rob Zombie's guitar player. He also played with David Lee Roth and Marilyn Manson. But he's a brilliant, brilliant guitar player. <laughs> Any Howard Stern fans out there? Baba Booey. I got. I met Richard Christie in Sacramento. Got his autograph. He was in the band Iced Earth. Uh, I met Scott Travis from Judas Priest and Fight. He was the drummer. The last thing I'm going to show you today is when I went to a Nirvana exhibit in Seattle. Uh, Chris Novoselic was one of the speakers, and I got it signed by Charles Peterson. He was a famous photographer. He took a lot of famous pictures of Nirvana. And I met Bruce Pavitt, who actually signed Nirvana to Sub Pop. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.